4.30, chaotic moments playing out inside a barber shop when police say the barber shoots an armed man to protect his store. Witnesses saying the suspect walked in and pointed a gun at customers, including children. News 6's James Barvero has the 911 call and explains what triggered the shooting in Melbourne. What's going on there? Yeah, we at the barber shop. Somebody ran in here with a gun and uh, he got shot. It is chaos. Chaos inside the barber shop. And I fired, boom, and dropped him right where he's stand. Owner Oral Reed says Marlon Masco threatened his life. Petrified, it was very, very scary. And the lives of his customers. We had kids in here and everything, man. It's Andrew Grow. Reed says it all started with Masco, who's never been to New York Hair Barbershop before, walking into the store last Saturday. Reed says he waited and left before getting a haircut. About a half hour later, Melbourne police say Masco re-entered the store wearing a mask and a hoodie and pointing a gun. He cocked it. He said, nobody move. This is real. And in real time, police say Reed shot Masco in the hip, eliminating the threat. Police say Masco was angry about what Reed said to him when he first walked in. We'll let you read those words for yourself as written in the police report. Normally we're in here cracking jokes. We're usually having a good time and, you know. Time in the hospital kept Masco from going to jail until now. Musco was upset by the commentary that was made in, in the barbershop. The 24-year-old's attorney arguing he should have the right to be released on bond. His injuries sustained are going to need some medical care. The judge responding, no. He needs to make better life decisions, you know, coming in and threatening people with guns, pointing guns at families. No, that was not smart. Masco's next opportunity to be granted a bond would be a bond hearing. His attorney leaving court today tells us he's working on arranging that. At the Brevard County Jail, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.